Welcome back. A hard candy that's in high demand across the country is pressed into the shape and smell we all recognize in Chattanooga. The Lifesavers brand just celebrated its 100-year anniversary at the Jersey Pike factory. And tonight, News Channel 9's Latricia Thomas takes us inside the plant to show us how the candy that's heaped with history is made. The first thing you notice about the local Wrigley plant... When I come through the gate or even on Jersey Pike, when I know what we're making. We smell it, it's wintergreen or peppermint or any of those mint flavors. It, uh, it makes you smile every day when you come into work. It's the same thing Cheryl Lee loves about her job. They're like, oh, Granny, you smell like candy today. The minty candies, named for their resemblance to many life preservers, come from sweet sugar. Granulated sugar comes in and it, it goes into um, more grinding. Um, before it's mixed with other uh, the flavors and sometimes some colors. Inside this machine is where the magic happens, pressing the sugar into that recognizable, iconic shape. Even if we slow the process down, it's almost too quick to catch. Cheryl's in charge of the press and making sure the pungent peppermints are perfection on the conveyor belt. We're looking at to make sure that the candy come out perfect and that the candy have the lettering on it that says lightsaber mix and have the hole in. So that once they're wrapped and bagged, they're a point of pride on the store shelf. I love my job. A reminder of a job well done today as this local factory keeps growing. Expanding their workforce to 300 and adding gummy lifesavers in 2005 to the same brand that's been cranking out this cool candy for 100 years. During World War II, um, sugar, everything was rationed. So they, um, the other people who had treats and things like that gave sugar to Wrigley so they could make um, the lifesavers and ship them ab uh, abroad to the troops to make sure that they could remember home and something that they know, that lifesaver brand. For Made in Chattanooga, I'm Latricia Thomas. It's not only the smell of lifesavers that escapes from the Wrigley facility, they also make the curiously strong Altoids in the same facility. Latricia will take you back inside Wrigley next Friday at 6 for a look at the worldwide mints and she'll show you how they are made right here in Chattanooga. We'll be right back.